Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be looking at the concept of managers in Django. So chances are high that you've been working with a manager but you haven't known what a manager is. At least in my opinion, I haven't known that I was actually working with managers. So a manager is simply a way through which Django helps you to query your database via your models. In this example, let's see what we have. So when I pull up my shell right here, I'll say python nani.py shell. And when this is actually going to open up IPython or my interactive Python shell, and within here, we can start by importing the model we've created. So I've created a simple model of student right here, and it has the attributes name, email, age, and is promoted, which is a boolean that basically shows if a student has been promoted or not. So I'll begin by importing our model. So I'm just going to come and say from student.models, we're going to import our student model. And after importing our student model, the next thing is actually going to be to query for all students so when you query for all students you're actually going to be using a manager so what is the manager in this case so if you do something like student dot object dot all we have actually worked with the manager and the manager in this case is the objects manager. So each time we create a database model in Django, we work with the manager even when we don't know when we don't know what we are actually doing. So in this case, our default manager is the objects manager. Now in case we wanted to rename this to something else, so let's say we wanted to actually customize our default manager name, we'll do something like this. So I have to first exit out of here and when I come, I can begin by basically specifying that our default manager is going to have another name. So the way I'm going to be able to do that is by coming and specifying a class attribute on our model. So let's say I wanted to actually call our default manager students. I'll just come right here and say that we're going to have students be equal to an instance of models dot manager. And when you have this, I can go ahead and save. So when I come and pull up our terminal once again, in this case, when you try to import our model and query for all our fields. So in this case, let's say we say student objects dot all. We're going to get an attribute error that's going to tell us that our student model doesn't have the object attribute. And this is because we've now specified that our custom manager or our manager name is going to be our default manager which is going to be our student's manager right here so in this case what we can do is to actually say student dot students dot all and this is actually going to be the way we're going to be querying our database so you can also do something like student dot students dot let's say filter and then you filter for all those students who have the is complete attribute or the is promoted attribute equal to true. So you can do something like is promoted equal to true. And this is actually going to return all those students who have the is promoted attribute being equal to true. Now, if you're to notice, these are one, two, three, four, five, and yet we have a uh, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, we actually have more than five attributes or five database records in our database. So I think you now get the idea. A manager helps you to query your database via your database model. So what if we wanted to customize this so that we return a particular result? Now let's say we wanted to actually return all students that have the is promoted attribute be equal to true without having to actually use the default manager to do that. So that brings us to how we can create a custom manager. Now if you've worked with custom user models before you've noticed that you've already created yourself a custom manager so i have some videos about that when, while doing Django rest framework i'll leave the video just at the top so to do that let me first exit out of here and once i do that i'll just have to come right here and all i have to do is to begin by creating our custom manager so each custom manager always inherits from the models.manager class that we've been able to create an instance for while creating our 
our default student manager so what i'm going to do that is by coming right here at the top and i'll create a class so let's say this is going to be a student manager so this is going to be a custom manager class so this is also going to inherit from models dot manager and once we have this then let's say i wanted to actually return all students who have the is complete attribute or it's actually is promoted attribute be equal to true then what we shall have to do is to override the default get query set method so the get query set method is one that we actually use when we call all objects from our database or when we query for all objects in our database now i'm going to go ahead and override that so that we can be able to only return those students who have the is complete attribute that is promoted attributes be equal to true now the way we're going to be doing that is by coming and saying def so i'll call that get query set method and once we have this this is actually returning a great a query set object so i'm going to remove this and once you have this then all we can do is to so when i come and call super dot get query set so this is actually going to call the get query set method on our student model so when you try to access all methods when i said dot we now see get create get uh we can see the bulk create the filters and everything that's within the get query set attribute so what i have to do in this case is to call the filter method and once you have this filter method you can specify the attribute that you want to filter now in this case we want to filter for the is promoted attribute and want to filter for all those that have their is promoted attribute being equal to true so what you can do in this case is to come and create the manager on our class and to do that i'm just simply going to come and let's say we're going to call this promoted students so this is actually going to be an instance of the student manager so i'll just come and say that we're going to have student manager and now let's go ahead and look at how to use our manager so i'll pull up the terminal right here and open our shell so i'll begin by importing our student model so i'll say from student.models import student and right after doing that then the next thing is actually going to be to query for all our students who have their is promoted attribute being equal to true so to do that i'll just come i'll just come and say student dot in this case we're going to actually call promoted student so when i come and say promoted it's actually going to be promoted students dot all this is actually going to return a query set of all students who have the promoted is promoted attribute be equal to true now this is not the only thing we can do we can also do it for other attributes so let's say we wanted to return all students who have their age greater than something so the way we're going to do that is by coming right here and I can just come and say def and in this case i can just come and say uh get age greater or i can just say age greater than and what i can do in this case is to say self so can just come and say self and all i can do in this case is to just come and in this case what you want to do is to return all the students who have their age being equal being greater than a certain age so the way i'm going to do that is by coming and saying return so in this case what you can actually say is to say we have to actually specify an age so let's say we can provide an age here it's actually going to be age and we can just return super and then use the get query set method so in this case we can just come and say get query set and then we specify that we want to filter for all the students who have their age being greater than a certain age so in this case i can just say filter and then here we shall have our age which is an attribute that we actually specified here so we can use such query expression so we can just come and say age greater than and then we specify the age 
which is going to be the one that we provided here. So in I save, in this case, when you come to our terminal, I'll try to exit and let's try to use that manager again. So call our shell again and I'll have to import our students model. And after importing our students, now let's try to get all students who are their age greater than, let's say, 10. So in this case, what I have to do is to just come and say student dot. In this case, now we're going to use the promoted students. Uh, we're going to actually use the promoted students manager. And this is going to return all students who have their, who have their attribute of promoted equal to true and their age greater than 10. So in this case, instead of saying all, we shall just come and say student or promoted students dot. In this case, we shall call the age greater than attribute. So I'll just come and say age greater than, and let's say we're going to return all students who have their age greater than 10. And now it's, in this case, it seems that all students right here have their age greater than 10. Now let me clear. So let's say I wanted to return all those who have their age greater than 20. This is actually going to return students who have their age greater than 20. Now let's say those who have their age greater than 25, it's going to return students who have their age greater than 25. And that's it. We can be able to use our custom manager to help us do things like this. So if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.